Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are. We're back for some modern. Today we're playing the last of our top decks and this is Grixis Control. I decided to go with a Grixis Drown in the Lot Control deck. Um, this version specifically is going to be trying to leverage cards like Mystic Sanctuary, Drown in the Lock, Crypt Command, and Torrential Gear Hulk as well as End of the Story. The vast majority of our deck is instant speed spells. In fact, we only have four main board cards that aren't instant speed. And honestly, two of them are Jace the Mind Sculptor just because I really like him as a control card. And the other two are Dread Boars. Um, Dread Boars basically a concession to the Urza decks. I think that they're good enough that it warrants us playing these. But that's my opinion. So, um, we'll see. Sideboard. Two Sorcerer Spyglass, same thing for against Urza, uh, or well, specifically Elko, Ashiox, two Brutalities, two Plague Engineers, two Alpine Moon for against Tron, Titan Shift, um, a blue green Oko deck, Field, the Oko Field of the Dead Oko deck, one a Braid, a Force Negation, and three Mystic Disputes. Um, main board, we got two Archmage's Charm. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but I don't know. I want to try it out, play it some more. And the fact that we're a deck that wants to have a bunch of islands makes it more appealing to me. We also have two Spell Pierce, one Spell Snare. Um, four Thought Scour, three Push, three Bolt, two Dread Boar, four Drown Locks, four Snapcasters, three Colgon's Commands, two Into the Stories. Um, yeah, that's the deck. Uh, we're playing 24 lands. Uh, land specific to note are Tarpits, Fiery Illit, and three Mystic Sanctuaries. Um, yeah, we're going to play some matches here. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Let's play. Alright, here we are. Um, we hit one more land. We can Archmage's Charm. I think I'm going to keep it. If we draw our lands, this hand's very powerful and we're on the draw. Also, we do have two really good removal spells over against creature base deck, which it looks like we are against creature base deck. All right, Arbor Elf. That's about as far from the land we wanted to draw as possible, but I'm going to lead on it. I'm going to bolt the Arbor Elf. It still gives access to Dreadbore next turn. Yep. I mean, obviously, if we hit another blue source, we'd rather have not played this. Don't be a sprawl. Naming red, I'm assuming. Yep. Green, red. Red and six. Perfect. So we're going to get a kill red and six here. Which will obviously not like a super huge deal. It's really nice to get it off the table. They're not four mana here. Well, that's pretty much going to do it unless we draw another lightning bolt. Well, <laughs> better lucky than good, right? <laughs> Wait, when did I miss a land drop? A little confused on that one. Or did they go first? They went first. Land off top. Well, at least it's a castable spell. And they have... I guess when you got it all, you got it all. Well, Alright, let's see what they got here. Yep.
All right. So we're getting hit for one here. Land. Thank you. If they do nothing, I think I'm just going to Arc Mage Charm, draw two cards. Alright, let's put Arc Mage Charm back on top. Fetching. Yep. Yes. Alright. Pass the turn here. Topia Sprawl. Yep. Alright. So. I'm going to take the hit there. We're then going to snap bolt. Just get the elf off the table. And start applying pressure. Now we're going to sit back on our cryptic commands and our archmage's charm. And this time around, I don't even think we're going to draw two cards with archmage's charm. I think I'm just going to sit back here and take it easy. One, two, three, four. Although if we draw one more land, I might play Jace. Yeah, all right. I just don't feel like we need to do anything right now. I feel like we're in a really good spot. I don't even really want to put back like a drown in the lock on top right now. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna stop lightning bolt. Three mana. Pillage, eh? Counter target spell draw a card. Yep. All right, running six. Yep, pick back up land. Alright, grab our last Mystic, Mystic Sanctuary. Dreadboard back on top. Kill it with Dreadboard. Yep, I'm gonna fetch. Down goes Renin Six. I'm gonna pass. Jace, go to the top card. Um, I'll put it on the bottom. I don't want to give them anything extra that we don't need to give them. All right, lightning bolt. Sure, lightning bolt to Jace. Yep, attack Jace. Yeah, we're going to fetch Snow Covered Island. This is going to let us kill the Blood Braid. Alright, they play Wooded Foothills, which means I'm going to draw two cards here. Nice. Alright, I like where we're going here. Uh, 
Um, no, they can have it. They're more than welcome to keep that. They fetch it away. Yep, sounds about right. All right, let's go. Turn snap, make him discard. Sure. They failed to find. Yep, all right. All right, so sideboard against this deck. Green, red, what looks like Hanza type of a thing. You can see Force Negation. You can see a Braid. I want to keep my spot removal in because they have Magus of the Moon. Maybe trim like this. But are these actually better than like just drawing four cards? I think it's fine. Not confident about it. All right, well, this is a mono blue hand, but I think I'll keep it. The fact that we have Island, and we can't cast Black Spells, that's a good one. Alright, um, just leave it on Island. Worst case scenario, if they have Magus of the Moon, we have a braid for it. Utopia Sprawl, sure. Shifting Ceratops. That, on the other hand, is a big problem. Okay. That's an answer to Shifting Ceratops on the bright side. Yep. All right, no fail of summer. That's nice. Ooh, that feels bad. Second one. Somehow not very surprising. Dang it. All right, let's... Just to kill this. Trust me, I would really rather have been able to get a swamp with this. I mean, they already have basically infinite mana.
All right. Let's go ahead and pass right here. We have drawn the lock as long as they don't have a shifting ceratops to follow it up with. Um, and then we have a braid also. Yep. So we know they have one more land in hand. Interesting no attack. Let's just kill this, get it off the table, I guess. Prevent extra damage. Put Dreadbore on top. Yep, fetch. I mean, the one nice thing here is Drown Lock at this point gets rid of basically everything. Oh, God. Okay. No search. Yep. Yep. This is... A tad annoying. Veil of Summer. I'm dumb. We should have countered Veil of Summer. That's going to cost us. Alright, yeah. Let, I'm. Oh, we can't counter it. Duh. That's right. Yeah. They're going to ultimate this and just have infinite Veil of Summers. And we know they have three lands in hand right now. Yeah. All right. All right, game three. Here we go. Um, I mean. I don't know if we want more counter spells or not. Opponent just drew really well. Alright. I will play first. This hand is egregious. Alright, well, this hand's much better. Um, honestly, depending on how things go, we might, we might play a game with just Island Swamp creeping tar pit. Like, I'm definitely going to lead on tar pit here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to lead on tar pit. Opponent with five. Oof. Yep. Once upon a time. What are foothills? Yep. All right, Utopia Sprawl. All right. Bright side, that means I'm much more comfortable get, just getting an island here. Three mana, what do you got? Pillage sucks. 
That's far. Oh my god. That is absolutely the worst land for us to draw. Uh, that's the worst land for us to draw. I also wish I wanted to. F no, stop doing things. I wish I wanted to fetch that land now, honestly. Yep. Yep, bolt it. All right, I mean, yep, what do you got? I'm going to counter run in six. Okay, well, on the bright side, they can't level it up high enough for it to be safe from us, so it's good for us. All right, that's pretty good, actually. I think we go here. Push it. I guess we could have made them waste their mana trying to invest into it, but I don't know. Well, Bloodbraid Elf's a good hit. So it's Pillage. Goodbye, Basic Island. No oh, Steam Ends. Okay. A little surprised, but not the end of the world. All right, taking three here. Come on, deck something good off top. That is quite good, actually. Um, and let's just get their hand empty and kill their blood braid. Ooh, Karn. Nice. Glad we did that. I also want to do it in a situation where they couldn't veil a summer us. Don't cycle their canopy. They stay at the same amount of mana, which isn't great for us. All right, well, into the story would be a great draw about right now. Uh-oh. Yep, shifting ceratops or something like that. Yep, of course. A creature that has an incredibly quick clock, of course. All right, let's go. No, come on, opponent, really? All right, running six isn't the end of the world. I mean, picking back up Horizon Canopy is pretty annoying. Oh, what are foothills? Interesting. What do you got now? Oh, Ravel Master's a problem. That's good. All right. Rob, or, uh, Lightning Bolt was a great draw there. <laughs> That's awful rude opponent. Well. Now that I'm starting to pick up Canopy here is going to be a problem. Tarpon ain't creeping no more. <laughs> mm. 
Yep. Uh, our opponent may have just drawn out of this. All right. I mean, this this has been a great match. This is definitely one of the most fun matches I've played in a long time. Opponent's trying to figure out whether they want to shoot me or try to find action with Canopy. It's a great question. I mean, they don't know. We're, we're one Snapcaster away from them being in trouble. Or like a torrential gear hulk. I don't know, lightning bolt's a card. There's a canopy. Yep. Uh oh. All right, Karn the Great Creator. I definitely like this red green mid range deck that they have. All right, I mean, all right, well, I mean, we already knew we had to end it. We go to four, down to three. I guess we technically have one more turn. All right, so we're going to hold the bolt. If we draw... Okay. So here's the question. One, two, three, four, five. So they have six mana they have a land in hand. If we kill Karn, we're still live to drawing Snap is an out. If we didn't already know they had the land in hand, maybe I might have tried to get cute and kill this. All right, if they have a lightning bolt, we're dead. So that's where we're at. Snapcaster off top one time. Mm -mm. Dang it. So let's see. This could get a Mystic Sanctuary, but we can't draw whatever it is. We'd have to bolt the Goblin. The Sanctuary. Ah, oh, if we would have drawn that a turn earlier. I guess if we would have drawn a turn earlier, we would have had to deal with the... Or they would have um, stuff Karn. Ah... So, Colgon's Command can't do it because we don't have Snapcast or anything like that. So we'd have to bolt this, get Thought Scour. Even Scouring into Snapcaster doesn't do it. But I think Scouring into Snapcaster is our only real... Chance at an out. And we go to
All right, second round six. Yep. All right. Still only out is drawing Snapcaster Mage or Torrential Gear Hulk. There's a Snapcaster. All right, let's go. Snap. Two damage discard. Um, yeah, so let's go. Yeah, because I don't think it really matters. So, discard two damage. Oh, now we just gotta hope they have nothing. MTO Geo Gods really want you to win. I don't know about that, but. Well, we're going to have to win the game without casting another spell, so. Yep. What do they got? Yep, Blood Braid. Yeah, that was that was a great match. That was that was a great match. Yeah, I'll let him kill us. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, we start off zero and one, but it was a great match. Um, we just kind of drew a little light there at the end, you know. God, where were you earlier? All right, we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right, this hand's a little interesting. We do have a dread bore. I'm gonna keep it. This is one of those hands I definitely think could go bad, but you know. All right. Well. Land. It's a land, all right. No, on the bright side, at least we are playing against an Oko Urza deck. Don't think we're. I think we're playing against the blue green lands deck. Nope. Infect. Slightly worse. Or better. We are Grixis. We do. Ooh, that's good. Actually, I'm gonna dread bore this because Fatal Push can hit Ink Moth Nexus. And yeah, we have Colgon's Command that can also do that, but I guess we also have Snapcaster right now that could have gone Snap Push this following turn. Alright, once upon a time. I mean, if they hit a Glistener Elf, I'm probably just going to... Noble. We might just use our mana this turn. I don't know. What do we draw? Drown in the lock. Yeah, let's just make them discard and deal two damage. The more mana they have, the more they can do stuff, and I'd rather just use our spells. Hmm. 
Well, they discarded Dryad Arbor, which is interesting. There's an Ink Moth. Spell Skype. Alright, I'd love me a land off top right now. That is, uh... That is the opposite of a land, actually. I think I need to push this thing now while we can. And hope they can't kill us next turn. Or maybe we make them redirect the push. Yeah, I think we make them redirect the push. So an alternative, if they have something like scale up, we can counter the scale up instead. Alright. Yep. So here's my thought. Do we want to take six infects? So we can either take one infect, counter the scale up, and then have to next turn deal with this spell sky anyway. I think it's just better to counter it. I was going to say, I was pretty sure a modal spell, once you've chosen the mode, you can't... If that mode doesn't make it a legal target, you can't actually change the target. Alright, so... We could still be okay here if we draw another black source. No, we do. Just in time. Alright. We got one card now. Yep. Push. <sighs> nope. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we'll push that. No redirect. Really? That's surprising. Hmm. Land Spell Pierce. Okay. Um, so 
So the most I can do is six. So I'm gonna play Jason. I think I'm gonna brainstorm. No, let's fate seal them. Okay, they're done. Never mind. I'm quite surprised about that, to be honest with you. Um, Plague Engineer as well. Brutalities. A braid. I just want to cut these guys. Um, Archmage's Charm is a maybe, actually. Um, I don't know if I want spell pierces. Okay, um, I don't think Crypto Command is quite where we want to be at. Also possible Brutality is just not, not where we're at. Maybe like this. No, you know, I think I'm, I think I like, I think I like the Spell Pierce better than I do the Archmage's Charm. God, but at the same time doing that, we cut so much of our card advantage engine out. We cut like the entire thing. Alright, I'm going to leave one, oh, that's Crypt Command. I want Archmage's Charm, I think. So, Spyglass is also a consideration. So is Alpine Moon. Because these both can let us take care of Ink Moth Nexus. But I think that this, bringing a card that only deals with one specific of their creatures, I don't think is good enough. When we have the rest of this that deals with all of it. Um, something to note also, um, Blighted Agent and Noble Hierarch are both humans. So naming human could be very valuable. Um, we can also name Blink Moth, which is Ink Moth Nexus, and then Elf, which is Glistener Elf, obviously. Um, other important things to keep in mind is a braid. The can be redirected on both modes to Spell Skite. Um, Colgon's Command, same thing. You can redirect the same mode or the second mode if it's damage and destroy artifacts. All right, let's run it back. I think this is fine like this. Um, all right, our opponent's going to be a minute, so I'm going to pause the video. Um, yeah, we'll be back in just a second. All right, so we got an interesting hand. We have a lot of removal and a Snapcaster Mage, but we have nothing to do on turn one against them. And they kept seven, so that they have the nuts, we're dead. I think I'm gonna keep it. We have we have so much removal. We have turn two, turn three, turn four removal. Please just be a high arc. Okay, well, high arc's not great because that means they have extra mana next turn, but Bolt. Alright, another scalding turn. That's fine. I would have loved to draw a bolt or a push there. Um, and despite the fact that we're playing three and three, we play the same number I almost always play, which is six one mana removal spells. Uh, let's see what they got. All right, once upon a time. Ink moth. Yep, attack me for one. No. Okay. Alright. I like it, but I'm still going to grab Steam Vents here. And we're going to attempt to Dreadbore this. If it gets a protection spell out of their hand, that's one less protection and pump spell they have for their Ink Moth later. And if it dies, that's one less mana they have for their Ink Moth next turn. Um, so I think that's just pretty much a pretty good trade for us. 
All right, Noble Hierarch. All right, I'm not going to kill the Noble Hierarch. There's no real point. All right, draw on the lock. That's probably the best draw we could have asked for. That means we're going to have access to push and draw on the lock next turn. Um, also, notably, I think it's just too good not to get another Watery Grave here to protect us and allow us to go um, Mystic Sanctuary in a turn. Also, it's very likely they're going to spend all their mana pumping this Ink Moth Nexus. All right. Moment of truth. Yep. Perfect. Crown lock kills it. All right. There we go. Just drawing a Mystic Sanctuary is pretty good, too. Um, on the other hand, I don't think I'm just going to pick up this drown, this uh, drown the lock just outright. I want to see what they do. Yep, once upon a time. Please hit a blighted agent. Blighted agent with no land would be perfect. Ink moth. It's not a blighted agent, but it's fine. You know what? I think I'm going to actually go ahead and just do it anyway and pick it back up with Mystic Sanctuary. Again, this gives them less mana. Kind of interesting they didn't try to protect it. I'm wondering what's in their hand. I really didn't expect this to resolve on the Noble. Oh, Dismembers. That makes sense. They just have a bunch of Dismembers. That makes sense. Do I actually want a Mystic Sanctuary right now, though? Yeah, I guess picking up Drown Lock is still pretty great here. Yep, Ink Moth. Spell Skype. Alright. Destroy Target Artifact and Discard. They have protection, they have protection. 
Nope. All right, cool. They're down to no cards and no spell skype. They did have protection. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm surprised they uh, they did that. Flighted agent, nice. Ooh, please attack with Ink Moth this turn. Oh god, yes, thank you. Ink Moth experience a 1 1 Blink Mac Moth artifact. Oh, thank god. I'm so glad this works the way I think it did. All right. All right. So, destroy target artifact, deal two damage. <sighs> All righty. Something good. Doesn't matter. Something good though. Ooh. All right. We were drawing gas. Anyway, uh, that was. That was not an easy match, don't get me wrong, but it felt easier than I thought it was going to. Um, oh, in fact, it's one of those decks that you can just lose to sometimes, so nice to get the win there. All right, we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right, game three on the play. All islands, not looking great. All right, I mean, this has got castable spells along with it. Um, Dreadboar is currently not one of those. I think Colgon's command in general is a little more powerful, but I really don't want to play against Oko. So Dreadboard is much better against Oko than um, other stuff. Oh, you know what? I could have actually kept Archmage's Charm in and stolen, and stolen the artifact creatures. There are their one mana creatures rather. Also, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna fetch it. All right, they're escape shift. We've got a lot of cards for this matchup. Game one's likely going to be a loss. But we got a lot of cards for this matchup, so. Yep. Right, we're drawing for turn land. Oh, thank you, deck. Thank you very much, deck. And if you're thinking I probably should have put that just both lands into play tapped and been more conservative. There's a 99% chance you're probably just correct. For anyone who was think wondering. But I also am pretty sure we're just dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, draw for turn land. It's kind of a land. It's not a land. Well, that's unfortunate. But, uh... Kind of something we can't do anything about right now. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
It's nice that they, they can't get Field of the Dead now. Um, I'm assuming they're going to get two more mountains here. Putting them at five mountains. No, Valak at one, two. Okay. I'm going to bolt them to the face again. All right, Spell Snare. That's dead. Holy shit, main board Veil of Summers. Seriously. 3, 6, 9, 12. We're dead? Yeah, we're dead. Main board Veil of Summer, folks. Main board Veil of Summer. All right. Um, look, over here. Alpine Moon, Ashiok, um, and into the story because I don't think that's going to matter. Sure. I think that's fine. I don't know. Mystic Dispute. Damn it, deck. Are you shitting me right now? This hand's incredibly slow, but in theory, we should be able to put a lot of cards in their graveyard and have a bunch of counter spells up. Yep, search suspended on turn one. It's their best start they can have. All right, we're going to hold the spell snares or the thought scours. Hopefully, we get a spell snare or ramp spell here to slow them down a little bit more. Yep. All right, now we get a double thought scour. Them hopefully land. Oh, that technically is a land. I guess maybe. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe we're supposed to. It's actually quite possible we're supposed to um. Thought scour them while they're tapped out, so they don't get to have Vela Summer up. Thought Scour. Thought Scour. Two Veil of Summers. Well, I'm I'm very happy about that one. Alright, third draw on the lock is very nice. This also means that our end of the story is very um what's the words I'm looking for? Cost four mana. Explore. Okay. We gotta draw Alpine Moon like now. We are uh, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Yep, make a zombie. Yep, make a zombie. All right, let's draw four cards.
Yeah. Let's go to Colgon's command. Yep, attack me for two, or, well, I guess for three. Yeah, zombie. We're going to Thought Scour them. Draw for turn. Man, we still are just hitting nothing. One, two, three, four. So we like no joke, straight up need to uh We need to straight up hit our old friend um Alpine Moon like yesterday. All right, I was putting this story back on top. I think we should have mulliganed to a hand that had more action. Yeah, I'm fine taking three here. That's a lot of Alcads. That's a whole bunch of Alcads. All right, let's. I think we're going to bounce this and draw a card. My thought process here is, okay, we drew into another cryptic command. This will draw us a little bit deeper and put us farther away from just being dead to Valakut. Tap draw. Yep, play your land tapped or untapped. What in the world are they playing? Yep, Primal Titan. Yep. Interesting they brought in Thrag Tusk against a control deck. Alright. Yep. So, they have one, two, three, four. We are absolutely in a position here where if they draw another mountain, we are dead. Almost certainly. Uh... 
One, two, three, four, five. Three, six, nine. Yep, that's just game right there. Oh, I wasn't supposed to let them go to combat. Yep, just crack the elder in response. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. All right. One, two, three, four, five, three, six, nine. Yep. All right. Well, that didn't go well, but we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right. On the plate, round number four. Last one was a tough one. All right. This ends a little wonky, but we're going to keep it. Um... I'm going to lead on Tar Pit here. No, you know what? I want to be able to drown the lock on turn two, so I'm actually going to watery grave here. It could represent a lot of things, but I want to have access to do this if I, if I need to. All right, well, doubt I'm going to need to against them, but... On the bright side, we just hit both our basics, so. Are you shitting me, deck? Alright, let's. Let's call in turn. Let's try to get these basics out of our deck. Not basics. The rest of the lands out of our deck, because we just don't want to draw any more for the rest of the game at this point. Um, we do have two Steam Ends and two Watery Graves, which might be two. Oh, God, Thought Not Seer. Oh no, matter ship. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so we're grabbing I guess the other steam vents. I am so surprised that wasn't another land. Um Maybe it's better to play the Steam Mints there. That way, if on turn four we have to Cryptic Command, we can uh, turn around on turn five and uh, have... Fuck me sideways. Oh, this is bad. Reality smashy time. All right, we take an eight. Looks like next turn we're going to be forced to tap the team. Drown lock number dose. All right, well that's not good at all. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going tap the team. Hope not to die. If they had a third card in their graveyard, no, we can't because I'm an idiot and played creeping tarpet last turn. Um, so this is also nice because this confirms another thing. They are Eldrazi Tron, which I wasn't. Wasn't super in question, but they could have been colorless Eldrazi, even though that deck isn't very commonly seen anymore. Yeah, mine some resolves. This does something they don't have another they don't have a follow-up creature here. So they did, they wouldn't have tapped the well, I guess it might just not be an Eldrazi. Yep, all right. Dreadbore is good. That can kill this. Another reality sm sh reality sm shaper, matter shaper, whatever it's called. Okay, Snapcaster is a good draw. That's not what I meant to play. Whatever. Doesn't really matter triggers hmm. 
Again, these drama blocks are basically worthless. We can't do anything with them here. Another matter, another reality smasher. Of course it is. So five, six, seven, eights. And I guess we go to one. And we obviously can't target the Reality Smasher because we don't have enough lands. And they get another Temple, which, to be honest, at this point, they have enough mana. That's not very scary. We go to one. Thinking game's over here. Ballista? Nice. All right. Um... Against Etron. So these are options. As are these. Um push is fine. Bolts. Bolts aren't great, to be honest. And there's spell snare. Spell pierce isn't particularly good either. I guess being able to catch like a turn one or turn two something is not terrible, but yeah, let's just run it like this. I don't think that spell pierce is gonna be good. That's not gonna do anything either. This hand's pretty good. Um, we're going to put back, I guess, these two. And we're going to roll like this and hope that we uh, don't die. Tower. Map. All right, well, um, yeah, I don't know. I This is going to be fun. All right, let's scour them. All right, we hit a draw on the lock. They hit two lands. Draw on the lock doesn't have a text box at the moment. We also now have a Snapcaster Mage, which um, notably Snapcaster Mage is pretty irrelevant. All right, they got Tron, which not particularly surprising. Land, please, one time. Oh, that's that's pretty bad for us. Uh, I think this one's probably in the books. Unfortunately, this is just this is a tough matchup to start with, and we are also now just not drawing well. We didn't draw that land that we needed. And yeah, we put another land on the bottom, so that is obviously like our fault. All right, Endbringer is absolutely beatable, so that is good. Also, perhaps we should have countered the expedition map. Yeah, we're not, we're not, obviously we don't have the mana to cast it. All right. All right, so they're going to go grab another tower this turn. Oh, I did the F6. So they're going to get another tower here. And have eight mana this turn and probably just game be over with. <laughs> oh yeah. There's this tower. I mean it's very likely they just have too much mana for us to beat at this point. Alright, yep, take my uh drama lock. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to sound defeatist, but, like, ah, oh, this game's just rough. This is a rough matchup. This 
Second one? Yeah, that sounds about right. Nope, Chalice on two. Alright. We can't beat a Chalice on two, I don't think. Yeah. I'm just going to pack it in. Alright, we're going to play the fifth round. Uh, hopefully we can get this to go two and three. Um, to be honest, the first matchup could have gone either way. Um, yeah. Other than that, the Titan Shift and uh, also Etron. Big mana mat decks are very hard for fair decks. And that's a perfect example there. So, all right, we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. All right, here we are. Uh, final round. One lander. Um, now, if we were a typical control deck with like 25, 26 lands, I might keep it with two Thought Scours. Um, these are also Serum Rangers. I'd definitely keep it. But I'm going to mulligan. I don't want to get stuck with the one lander and lose because of it. Um, This hand's fine. I think I'm going to put the Mystic Sanctuary back since we do have a basic swamp. I go to five cards. Yeah, also them going, them mulligan to five is, oh, we, they, we didn't know that yet. Never mind. We only knew they went to six. But them going to five is another reason why this hand's probably uh, a little bit more, I'm a little more inclined to keep with them going to six um, because it is a functional hand. We are one mana from casting a Cryptic Command. They're also a blue deck, which, I mean, this current meta, that doesn't mean anything, them being a blue deck, so. I'm going to lean on Scalding Tarn here. Um, I have no idea what they're playing. Snow-Covered Island doesn't mean anything. That could be literally any blue deck in the format. At this point, I'm more, yeah, okay, they're, the, they're probably the uh, blue-green lands deck. On the real, at this point, I'm I'm like more surprised. Yeah, blue green lands. When our opponent turns out to be playing basic islands. Oh, so they're missing their green source. All right. They draw their green swords and play Oko. I think we're going to bolt, snap, bolt Oko. That's good for us. That's not good for us. That is like the last thing we want to draw. All right, tap green source. All right, another blue source. That's good for us. Hmm. Yeah, this swamp is a little awkward with this hand, especially since we drew the blood crypt. If we want to draw the blood crypt, it wouldn't be that weird. You know what? Normally, I'd probably let this go. Because they missed slant drops, I'm going to counter it. All right, Mystic Sanctuary. Nobly, Mystic Sanctuary does not. All right, now it does. I was going to say, Nobly, Mystic Sanctuary does not pick back up the Crypt Command yet. Um, now it does, though, so that's good. Oko? Sure, make food. Bolt Oko. Bolt. So technically this is a two for one. But, ooh, that's a good one. Yes. All right, here we go. All right, two mana. Hmm. Yeah, we're... 
countering that. Mm-hmm. We're not going to draw two cards off of this. Um, I'd rather just attack them for two here. And uh, hold up two counter spells. Well, I, I only have one counter spell up, but have the two counter spells. Also, very likely, I think I might crack this fiery uh, Islet, Iliot, whatever it's called. Yep, Grazer. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's. Counter. Bounce. Put it back on top. All right, well, this is the plan. This is what we came here to do. You know what? I don't really want to counter this. But this is going to stop our attacks. Now let's let it resolve. I didn't think that will land. Lay for two. And then let's... Hmm. Let's untap. All right, so I'm going to attack for two. They're going to block, as they do. And I'm going to target player discard, just deal two damage. Yep. All right, discard prime time. Somebody's the last card is something good too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, gain your life. That's fine. Seven mana with six unique lands. Let's thought scour them again. All right, draw. All right, polluted delta. I like it. Make a two one or a one one. Uh yeah, I mean we can't do anything about that. It gets to block us. We are definitely getting to that point now in this game where we're just so far behind. At this point lands just start making tokens. Yeah, we're we're in we're in major trouble. I mean, we knew this was going to be a tough game one to win, but I was really hoping we were going to have a better way to try to win this than what we're having right now. Another 1-1. One, one. Yeah. This is the kind of makes me wish we were a Blood Moon deck. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, the crime part here is at this point, our opponent just has to keep making tokens and playing lands. They don't even have to actually do anything else for the rest of the game. So we just can't beat that. Yeah, we got, I mean, Tar Pit, I guess, technically, we could try and fight him. Hmm. Okay, I'll trigger them. Hmm. Targeting your own land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Interesting. They play a land this turn. Nope, they did not play a land yet this turn. I don't want to play. I don't even want to play this game with them. I'll let them. I'll let them do their thing. Snow-covered forests. Yep. Now we counter Primeval Titan. Yep. Yep. Uh. All right. Well. Mhm. Mm So we're going to flashback Colgon's command, make them discard, kill a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. Oh, actually... Yeah, let's return snap, make him discard. Yeah, I, I like that a little bit better, I think. I don't I mean I, I don't mind the choice of them not cat flashing that back. I think that's a fine choice. Yeah, we're at eight. Bolt them. All right, draw a card for turn. Play the land tapped. All right, let's play Jace. No, you can keep Grazer. Make a token. Hmm. I think if we're going to win, Jace might be just the way we have to do it. Yep, zero three.
Hmm. I think I'm gonna go block snap block thought scour. No, I'll arc mage charm draw two cards, I guess. I like that. Snap. Block Archmage. No attack. Do I even Snapcaster Mage then? No, right? We don't we just don't even spend the Snapcaster here. Yeah, we're gonna put that on the bottom. Make a token. Hmm. Ojuko Bog. All right, let's go. Snap. Tart Cryptic. Uh, return target parameters on your hand, tap all creatures. Oh, I guess the right way to do that would have been let this resolve. Oh, I'm dumb. I could have killed him there. Oh no, I couldn't. They still could have made a West Valley Abbey blocker. Mm hmm. Yep, sack five creatures. Uh, return target permanent to its other hand, draw a card. Um. Turn target parameters on hand draw card. Yep. And yes, pick your top card, uh, put it on the bottom, no you can have it, it's all you. Jesus, I can't believe we're still in this game. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yep, making another token off the Westville Abbey. Yep, draw crypt command. Primeval Titan. Nope, you may draw Primeval Titan. We still have enough blockers to deal with Prime, so I don't care. Yep, make a 1-1. One, one. Yep. Bounce to Larry West. Yep. Transmute. I 
think we just pass. So that cavern and prime. Yeah, we gotta put that in the bottom. Return target, target permanent, tap all. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep, cast your giant. Uh huh. Makes two more zombies. Yep, make a bunch of triggers. My concern is now completely alleviated. So now I've got the first cryptic command. Anything we're not expecting in here? No, nope, all shit I expect. Cool. So I have the first cryptic command to tap their team, and the second cryptic command to stop Ormenthal from triggering. Does this... Yep. All right, here we go. Turn target from returns to their hand, draw a card. Yep. Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was not fun. That was uh All right. 
over here. Yeah, nine cards. I'm not particularly interested in these six. <sighs> Countering ramps, okay, but not really sure that's where we want to be at. Dreadboar kills Oko's. Cut like that, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right. We'll be right back in just a second with the second round. All right. So this hand definitely feels like a close one. But because we don't have blue, we only have a third land at this point. I'm going to mulligan this hand. If we had a dread board, I think I'd keep it. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to bend the drown the lock. I'm not happy about this hand. Um, definitely could do better. But... Now that we that island, though, I do wish we would have kept the drown the lock and put this Mystic Sanctuary to the bottom. Yep. Resolves. We don't have response. Dang it. If I could get you down a turn earlier, we'd be in a better spot here. But unfortunately, I cannot. So they will be at Primeval Titan Mana next turn. Yeah, because they'll be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. Although the funny thing is, if they have to fetch to get their land, we can actually drown and lock the Primeval Titan, which I find to be quite hysterical. Nope. Alright, we're just dead to a Primeval Titan here. Yep, yeah, the good old-fashioned way. Mm-hmm. Field of the Dead, some other bullshit. Yeah, so Field of Dead and one other card doesn't matter what. Probably a, probably a, um, I don't even know, Ghost Quarter maybe? No. Oh, Cavern. So they have another Titan in hand. That's pretty bad for us. One we could beat without. Scout. Why Scout. What scout is there that you want to play? I mean, soccer tribal is a scout, I guess. No. What the hell? What do you what scout is there even? Yeah, let's just move on. From this point, we're just done. Um, I think we just run it back the same way. I mean, unfortunately, on a draw, we're we're pretty slow. On the play, we might be just a step enough that we can deal with them.
Either way, game one was insane. Holy crap. I was... I mean, you guys you guys were there. I was certain we lost. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> these were fetch lands. If one of these was a fetch land, I'd keep this hand. But I can't. Alright, I'm going to name the card that's actually the problem, which is Field of the Dead. And then from here, I just hope that we draw a guy. I could have waited on this, I guess, to maybe need Castle Garenberg. I don't know. Come on, suspend search for tomorrow or something crappy. Damn it, that's not what they're doing. Yep, water grave, shock, play snap. Crack it response. Yep. No, this might just be the nudge we need. Alright, well. I mean, not great, but we got Feel the Dead shut off. We have their searching shut off. Now he's got to worry about Oko and actually getting beat down with Prime. Hmm. Oh, trackers. Trackers a card. I'm gonna kill the tracker just because we are one land away from being able to uh, get back the Dreadboard Mystic Sanctuary. And currently, they still are two lands away from activating Castle Garenberg because they, if they fetch, they can't search. Oh, I'm dumb. I did that in the opposite order. We're supposed to. Yeah, we're supposed to kill. Draw a card. Ooh. That's some that's some interesting sideboard tech there from our opponent. Once upon a time. Waterlog Gorge. 
Alright, a land. So they can actually play. Oh, you know what I actually did wrong? Alright, so that is one prime, two prime. It's two primal titans down. Unfortunately, we can't mill them anymore because if we do, we lose our Ashiok. And shutting off their searching is more important than the mill. Hmm. If they have a Veil of Summer, they have a Veil of Summer. They have a Veil of Summer. Yep. Yep. I mean, we definitely had that feeling that they were gonna have, they were gonna have Oko. Well, the Delta, so that's good. Um. So if this goes and gets a Steam Vents. This puts it this on top, we then cast it and kill this. I like it. Could be a water grave too, I guess, right? Alright. Down to 12. Just six more turns of this. That's a long time with them having a handful of cards. Honestly, at this point, it feels like we're more likely for them to time out than I am to actually kill them. Of course, they could also just have a bunch of ramp in their hand, which they clearly don't have a bunch of ramp in their hand. They have castable spells. Primal Titan. Yeah, I mean, again, on the bright side, it's just a 6-6. Six, six. Also, on the not-so-bright side, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Alright, down to 10. Cracking Waterlog Gorge. No? Yep, yeah, okay. It is tapped wrong. Hmm. Well. Second so feel of the dead. Are they out of things to play here? What is even in their hand then? Tap blood crypt. In for four. Down to six. Up to nine. So we are still virtually in the same spot we were before. Oh, 
Although now if they play something that we have to counter, I'm going to Cryptic pick up a Snapcaster and counter it. Ooh, Blast Zone. That gets to blow up the Alpine Moon. But actually, if they go to do that, I think I'm going to pick it up. That's a good draw. Yeah, if they go to blow up the Alpine Moon, I'm going to pick up Alpine Moon. Crap, because they're going to do that at the end of turn, though. That's the problem. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. So I pick up Alpine Moon right now. It doesn't do anything next. It doesn't do anything. A little Titan. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, they don't have a second green source. All right, there they go. Tap and draw. Sanctuary. Command back on top. Yep. Don't know what our opponent was thinking there. I guess they forgot about the Ashiok. I mean, they've been playing the whole game with Misty Rainforest, so it's a little surprising that they forgot Ashiok. Yep, once upon a time. Cavern of Souls. Yep, make two zombies. Yep. It isn't over yet, opponent. Yeah, our opponent should have uh, our opponent there should have played Primeval, should have attacked the Ashiok, and then could have cast Primeval Titan main phase two, which if they had another land, then they could have protected themselves from being killed by a Snapcaster Mage. Um, toward the way they played that, they just left themselves dead to Snapcaster. So. I wouldn't say we drew perfect. I'd say our mulligan we had was the best five card hand we could possibly have asked for given the matchup. Uh, we had an Alpine Moon to start shutting off the stuff, and then we had an Ashiok to stop them from searching the rest of the game. Um, I wouldn't say it's a favorable matchup. Again, big mana decks I think we just have bad matchups with. Um, we drew extremely well, though, um, game one. We just somehow managed to pull together the cards to win. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say that was a fun match. Um, don't get me wrong. I don't particularly like playing against these blue-green grindy decks. But hey, if you guys enjoy them, then that's great. That's all that matters. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, these have been our top seven decks. Sorry I got them out late, guys. Again, I got sick. I wanted to get them out around Christmas, but I hope the first seven days of the month, first seven days of the year, are good enough. Um, as far as moving forward after this, I'm not going to have a set schedule anymore. I'm going to kind of just do videos as I want to do them. Um, I The schedule was okay. And maybe when Theros comes, when Theros is released uh, in the middle of this month, so next week or the week after, either a week or two, maybe then I'll go back to doing the typical schedule I have. But for right now, I think I'm just going to switch over and play just kind of whatever deck I feel like playing that day. Um, yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, that might mean we play a lot more uh, repetitive decks. So probably a lot more Jund, a lot more Grixis, stuff like that. I might even try another Blue Green or Urza deck um, just to s play it with the straightforward list, not the uh, War of Invention version. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this deck. Um, the choices, specific card choices I made, like I said, I'm, I really focus this on trying to beat the Urza decks uh, or the Oko decks and trying to beat the big mana decks. Obviously, we failed to beat two of the three big mana decks. Um... But game match, or the final match there, you kind of saw what our plan against the big mana decks is, which I think is a pretty good plan, um, all things considered. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, I do have a Patreon and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, check that out. Um, any help would be great. It's not properly updated at the moment, but I'm going to try to update it sometime this first week uh, or this next week. Hopefully I'll get to it. Um, either way, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good rest of your day.